Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we return to France, 1940, for a game of Chain of Command. Before we begin the briefing tonight, I just want to say thanks to all of you who've uh, gotten us up to 4,000 subscribers. That's really awesome, and we appreciate it. And I did a uh, video earlier this week about a giveaway and I will be announcing the winner of that giveaway uh, after the briefing. So the briefing for tonight. A French platoon has snuck around the back of the German defensive line at Arras and are preparing to attack an 88 from behind. I don't know how plausible that situation would be but uh, it's going to happen here tonight. So uh, we're going to be using the Swift to support, uh, I should say a modified version of the Swift to support uh, mission from the 1940 handbook. The Germans will have the 88, which is going to be the objective of the attacking French, and they will have it in a entrenchment. The rules for Swift to support say that any defending support units cannot activate or come on the board until turn two. So the 88 will be engaging tanks to its front until turn two begins, unless the attacking force fires on it directly, in which case it will turn and defend itself. The defending Germans will also be suffering the effects of a pre-game barrage. This is not going to be actually a pre-game barrage, but it's to simulate the difficulty that they will have reorienting their lines to face the other way when they have been facing forward and fighting uh, enemy to their front up to this point. The Germans will start with four patrol markers on the objective. The French attackers will get four patrol markers on the north road. Whoever has a higher force morale will make the first move. Um, the way that this differs from Swift to support is that in that mission in the book, the defenders can deploy their four patrol markers all the way up to halfway, and the attackers would actually roll to see which table corner they would place their patrol markers in. For support points, the Germans will be getting, well, both sides will be getting 10. Uh, the Germans will have plus two, though, due to force rating difference, eight of which they're going to have to spend on the 88 and the entrenchment. So it's seven for the 88, stats for the 88, AP 12, HE 7 plus one for the uh, um, entrenchment, like I said. So eight total points here. And uh, they have uh, the remaining they can spend on whatever they want. The French will have 10 support points. As far as terrain goes, the hedges are gonna be true hedges. So they're gonna be difficult to get over. They're also gonna block line of sight unless your uh, unit is right up against it. These tall wooden fences are gonna be light cover, uh, two inch visibility. All the buildings are hard cover. Patch of woods in that corner there. Patch of woods over there, but it's in the uh, it's behind the head, so not really going to be in effect. Uh, the hill. So the hill is going to be open, just some sparse trees. There is some soft cover patches of grass on it. There's also a couple of patches of grass on the board as well. Um, so if you want hard, any kind of cover when you're on the hill, you need to be in the grass or in the or in the entrenchment. So if there's a squad in the entrenchment here, the 88 cannot fire over them. Uh, let's see here. The hill will also allow the 88 and any unit on top to see over the fences and over the hedges. That's it for the briefing. Now let's take a look at the forces. Here's the attacking French platoon. This is a standard French infantry platoon, front line. Its force rating is plus one. Uh, it's commanded by Lieutenant Pierre Pierre with his pistol. It is also um, commanded by the uh, inferior junior leader John Claude. So inferior junior leader just means he's got the stats of a junior leader, but he can command any unit in the platoon. It also consists of a um, VB launcher team with its own junior leader. So this is four VB launchers, and then three squads. Each squad is a rifle armed squad leader, junior leader, a uh, two man LMG with four rifles team, and then a four rifle team. Uh, as well. So that is the French platoon. On this side we have the defending German platoon. So this is a German second wave, di second wave division, minus one force rating. It is commanded by Lieutenant Nils Westermann with his pistol. And assisting him is platoon sergeant Jens Kopke with his MP40, or MP38 probably in this case. Um, so the platoon itself consists of three squads. Each squad is led by a junior leader with SMG. Six-man rifle team, three-man MG34 team. 
And that's it for the forces. So once Andre gets here, I'll brief him. Uh, we'll do the uh, tabletop CP goodies giveaway, and then we'll begin the game. Andre's here. We've uh, briefed him. We're going to roll our force morale. Three. So you're at a ten. I'm in a nine. And now we will do the draw. So I had 178 comments. And we'll see which one is going to be the winner here. So generate. If it's me, do you have to? 130. Did oh, you... that is me. Did you comment? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll figure out who number 130 is. So the winners, it is an Andre. Yeah! But Sweet! It is Andre Kubelos. That's so, not me. No, that is not you. That is Andre Kubelos. He said, great work, guys, and keep up the Spectre Ops. So, Andre, you have won the Tabletop CP stuff. So, contact me via Facebook or uh, Twitter or whatever, uh, however you can. And I'll get your address and I'll send it off. So, uh, thank you for subscribing and watching the videos. So now we will go ahead and do the patrol phase. So Andre gets the first move since he has a higher force morale. And we begin. And they're off. You can see that there. Lock those down. Lock them. Uh, yeah, you can't make the fence. Uh, here go. Ergo. Ergo. This is a very fast patrol phase. I haven't even had to pause the camera yet. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you stacked me up on a hill. <laughs> Actually. Okay. Oh, we're wearing masks too, by the way, if anyone's... <laughs> <laughs> This is a super it. secret uh, patrol <laughs> phase. Because of the virus. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> super covert. Just leave that one there actually. Uh, move that one there. Lock those two. Are you trying to take over the town? You're supposed to be defending the objective. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't not move. Uh, what do we have left here? Just, just oh, I got only two left. You got two left. All right, fine. Lock that one down. So that's it. Place jump off points. We both placed our jump off points. So I got one in the church here. 
And I got two in the field over here. Meanwhile, Andre has one along that fence line over there. One behind that tree there, the officers. And then one over in this patch of grass here. And one free one on the objective itself. So that's it. Uh, Andre was thinking about actually putting one over here, but I thought that'd be a little bit too big of a commitment to take the town and take most of the platoon. It could be, uh, that's a big commitment of forces, unless I was willing to just let it slip away. Yep. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. You have the uh, higher force morale, so you'll begin. Never mind, we have to pick support and do plan, so then we'll roll again. <laughs> <laughs> French plan. So with my 10 support points, I'm going to be bringing a Panhard 178, a Hotchkiss medium machine gun, a sniper, and a medic. Uh, so I got the two jump off points over here. So what I'm going to do, I would like to do, is have the John Claude, the a platoon sergeant, and the Hotchkiss and the um, VB launchers set up a little base of fire here. And I'll also have the option to place a squad along with them here. And depending on how the Germans uh, play their game, uh, I'll do the squad and the little fire base over there, and then the other two squads will come around here and line the fence and try to make a charge on the hill. Uh, the sniper, he's going to go up here. That's why I put the uh, jump off point in the church. So hopefully he can do some uh, do something this game. Haven't had much luck with snipers. And then the medic, of course, will just go with Pierre Pierre, wherever he goes, and the assault element. And that's it. That's French plan. So we'll see what the Germans are going to do. German plan. Well, obviously it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, stay on the hill. Hold the high ground. Keep in better cover than the uh, enemy. And try and outgun him. So all that said... Um, I did bring a medium machine gun for my uh, support, so I'll be having that uh, coming in, and it'll uh, probably wind up, uh, you know, over on the uh, left side. Uh, could come in over. Well, no, it's uh, it's probably uh, gonna either have to be on the left side or right up on top with the uh, main gun. Uh, the only thing I've really got going on is I'm thinking it could be cool to deploy a, a team or a squad down here and just kind of screw around in the uh, backside of the uh, village here a little bit just so Travis can't uh, put everything up on me all at once. So that's just a total diversionary pain in the butt thing which is very typical of something I would pull but uh, we'll see um, if it looks like I can just rain down terror here and I'm assuming Travis is uh, well if I was Travis I would probably try and set up a uh, base of fire over on that hedge line come in through the uh, side here and uh, try and mount an assault up the uh, up the edge but uh, that's going to be a hard path to yeah I don't know we'll see um, so yeah I got this jump off point that could screw with that a little bit over here if he does try and flank around the other side which I'm not really seeing um, that could be a little more difficult, but uh, yeah, I think he's going to try and uh, come in through here, which means this jump off point will probably come into play at some point. So it's not so much I'm defending it as uh, deploying off of it will uh, just make it a little tougher for Travis to um, grab this uh, right flank of mine. Anyway, we'll uh, show you what happened. That's complete. Germans hit the first phase. And what a phase it is. So fives, one, three, four. All right, so Andre brought uh, squad in. He also brought in Kopke, and they've just occupied the bunker that the 88 is in. So obviously these guys were kind of already hanging around the hill. They made it right through the confusion and took up positions. So the French phase. Whew. 
man, I thought I saw three sixes. I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> turn in. But it is a double face, nice, right, uh, to start off nice here. Nice roll. Two, Two threes. threes. And a double phase. Okay. Oh. Huh? Can I put my overwatch on those dudes? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Two threes. I brought in the pan hard. He got a really good move. Wheel vehicle. Double movement on road. So he's all the way up here now. And then I brought a section in off of the jump off point in the corner of the church. And next phase. Okay, another five. And... Two, two, Everything three, else. four. Nice. Oh, real quick before I move. This is, I forgot to mention the um, terrain section. This little orchard here is actually an orchard, so six inch visibility, so we have line so of sight. the orchard is an orchard? Yeah, it's a small okay. orchard. Yes. <laughs> Just want to make sure I heard you correctly. Okay, the clump of trees is an orchard. <laughs> three, I moved the pan hard up, um, right to that gap there. He's going to fire at the squad with his uh, cannon. So three HE needing fours. Two hits. You can split them up. Or can I not see your, I don't think I can see your uh, machine gun team actually. No. So it's just going to go on the rifles, I guess. To point of shock. We're also saying that uh, just special for this one scenario, it doesn't spread to this. It has to be the end of the turn for him to activate. The bullets are flying around, but they're focused on those Matildas coming in. Uh, okay, so that was the panhard. Now we will move with the squad. So the panhard, you saw that, and I moved the other squad up, brought Pierre Pierre in, and brought another squad in. Back to the Germans. Another five. We are. And a two, two three, three, four. four. Popke took the shock off these guys here. And over here, he brought another squad in. They must have just been right off the edge because they showed up to the scene here and through the barrage, or the barrage effect and machine gun team is going to fire at this squad here needing fours four hits two on the machine guns two on the rifles okay good so one dead machine gun oh no it's not no the leader worries. so it's weird that in these french squads the machine gun team is like the biggest team in the squad oh wow and it was a point of shock so just one dead out of the machine gun team on first squad in line here, and then the squad leader here also put this rifle team on Overwatch. So French phase. Yes, a couple of ones. ones. Hell yeah. Okay, I like, got a feeling it's about to show up here, whatever it is. I think you may be right. I think it might be a machine gun. Possibly. A mortar. Maybe. <laughs> I brought my fire base in with the one I brought in the Hotchkiss. Another one I brought in the VB Launcher team, and with the four I brought in Jean-Claude, the inferior senior leader. And then with the two, I'm going to have this squad return fire on that MG-34. So I've had to change of plans before I decided I uh, did a redo, and instead I brought the two ones. I didn't bring Jean-Claude in, but I still brought the uh, machine gun VB Launcher. With the two, I'm going to bring in another squad here, and I used the four instead on... Pierre Pierre, he's going to have this squad fire on the machine gun and he's going to have this squad try to get into the building. So we'll start over here. This squad against the guys in the 88 pit. Needing fives. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ouch. Nice. Nice roll in there. Okay, so splitting them. Yep. So we always do the machine gun first, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't say it yet, so point of shock, all right? Rifles, another point of shock. So two points of shock. All right. So do you want to return fire? Sure. All right, returning fire at Overwatch, back at the squad. Returning fire, 14 shots from the German squad. He's targeting this team here, so it'll split among all three of these. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? That's what I'm seeing. Had to one up me, didn't you? I did one up me, yes. <laughs> Literally. Okay. I'll put the X one on the rifle squad on the end here, so we'll start with them. Minus two points of shock. Machine gun. Two, two points, points of shock. shock. 
and then uh, one point of shock. It's a lot of shock that just got sent out. All right, the um, machine gun's gonna shoot, but the French machine gun only gets nine shots. One, two, three, four hits. But it's a lot more accurate than it should be. Hell yeah. All right. Got it dialed in. Machine gun. Nothing. And... Ooh, Ooh dead in the shock. Got someone finally. Oh no, it's... Well, which one is it? It's Cocky. Senior, senior. And... Cocky's wounded. So that's just a... He loses a command. And a bad thing. <laughs> Alright, so you guys all saw that crazy roll. Uh, anyway, it's a minus two. So Andre's down to an eight. Kopke's wounded. Is that all that happened? Yep. Was that was good enough? <laughs> no, that was, that was good. So I'm going to fire my uh, DB launcher. So only half, half shooting the first time. So instead of two each, it's going to be one each. So here we go. Um, Eden fives. So two hits, reducing cover by one level. So machine gun. Nothing. Nothing. Damn. Okay. So we're zeroed in though, boys. All right. So you that's say so. that's all the shooting over here. Now we'll do this squad here. They're down one man. Twelve shots from that squad. A couple guys can't see, but all going on to the machine gun team. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Hitting on fours? Yeah, we're within 18, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Well, you were hitting on fours, so I figured I would be, too. Yeah. I figured those French guns weren't quite as good <laughs> as the German guns. So all going on to that machine gun team. Sadly. How many? Six. Uh, why not onto the rifle team also? Because I have to be able to see you can. the target. All right, six shots on the machine gun. Six on the machine gun. Um, a dead and three, shot. three shock. Yep, check your leader. Nope, not him. Okay, so a dead and three shock on their machine gun team. Now this squad is going to run up to the building there. All right. All right, here we go. Game on. No double uh, What do you think? Is that a one? Yeah. Four ones. And a six. Uh, that squad over there pulled out from the fence, so they're out of sight now uh, with the two. And then with the other two, with the two ones, he's going to activate that squad, targeting the BB team this time. Uh, three, four, five, six, needing fives. Yep. So BB. So three and three. BB launcher. Three dead. Nothing. Man. Machine gun. Oh, a dead and a two shock. So there's no leader attached to the gun right now. So they just lose a guy and take a shot. Okay. That's it, right? That's it. A crappy roll from hell. Four ones. Yeah. I said I needed you to whiff, and you kind of whiffed there. <laughs> that was pretty whiffy. All right, so uh, one, one, two, three. Made a four with a three and a one, brought John Claude in. Couldn't pull any shock, he's only an inferior leader, so he's only got two. So he's going to activate both of these squads with the two, and I'm going to have this squad activate. And with the one, I brought the sniper into the bell tower, and he's going to fire as well. So we'll start off over here with the DB launchers, getting eight shots this time. One hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Hey, one kill. Sniper. Uh, so, see, uh, is it a leader? Again? <laughs> yes, yes. Which one is it? It's the junior, junior leader, leader this time. And... He's killed. Killed. Nice. That bad thing. Probably a minus one, I'm assuming? Yeah. So that was minus two off of Andre's force morale. He's down to six already. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll have the, uh... force morale me out of this. Man. Now the Hotchkiss will fire. It's down a dice since it's got three shock. Needing fives. <laughs> Not a single five. Suddenly none of, neither one of us can roll anything. And then the squad. Only two leaders have been hitting that bunker up there. No men. So 
So those guys are leading from the front. Now this squad here, minus two shots. One, two, three. Wow, these guys are really rattled. Okay. They can't hit anything. Machine gun. Nothing. Nothing. Okay then. But you have dropped four force morale. <laughs> well, other than that, it hasn't been so bad. <laughs> I think that's all I... Oh, the sniper. Sniper will fire up there, too. Leading to three. Yes! Finally hit something. Sniper was firing at the machine gun team. It's a dead. Of so it's a two or less it's the leader, because the sniper's better shot. <laughs> so just a dead guy in the uh, machine gun team. So imagine if I hit Jens again. Uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if he hit both of them. <laughs> it uh, went through one and took out the other. Here we go. Uh, I'll take it, I guess. Andre tried to move them up towards the fence. And he didn't get very far. Brought another squad in through the barrage. I'm assuming you rolled for that, right, Andre? Uh, roll for that? <laughs> You haven't missed one yet. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, pointing that out. Oh, you got it. Whew. Doesn't ever miss those rolls. Well, it was important. So 28 <laughs> shots. 28 shots. Are you going to roll them all at once? Okay. Well, isn't that why we've got a die tray? I need a bigger one for that. <laughs> we do have a bigger one. Okay. That's a lot of dice. We'll count so on. 10 hits. So 5 on the machine gun. Oh, yeah. And the other guys. So two shock here, and then the leader. Oh no, it's the leader. He's oh. killed. John Claude is down. Wow. That's probably minus one. Yeah. As these guys are now pinned with a dead leader, minus two on the force morale for him. So they got four shock with three dudes. These guys are somehow still halfway they're, decent. They're holding it together. With the machine gun and John Claude who is inferior in all but bad things. <laughs> Sadly. Well, actually, it was minus two on everything but a one, so. All right, back to the turn. You didn't have a lot of choice in that. Two fives. Hey, you can end the turn. Three, three, two. So I didn't get a four. Squad ran around. Did not get a very good run. Over here, I was able to pull the BBs off the edge and the um, squad off the head. So they're out of line of sight now, just from the angle. They can't be seen, we've agreed. But the machine gun, sadly, is stuck there for all to see. <laughs> Pinned. At least he's in hard cover now. With a dead leader. Oh, and oh, you're a turn. Oh, boy. Oh, in perfect. The, in the near future. <laughs> so, well, first of all, these guys tried to move. They didn't make it. Uh, he's got a shock. He rolled a one. He's going to have the machine gun team activate itself on a one and shoot over there at the pinned Hotchkiss, which has been a complete waste of points. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, eight shots? Shot machine gun. No. Uh, yeah, eight shots. But you were complaining about your nine shot machine gun. My four point <laughs> nine shot machine gun? Yes. <laughs> uh, two, two, two hits. hits. Hard cover. And my leader's already dead, so you can't hurt me there. Nothing. Okay. Hey, maybe I should just leave everyone up there until they're pinned. <laughs> <laughs> then that's, I'll, that's the spirit. <laughs> then I'll have hard cover. Double phase. Oh, this will help immensely. Ouch. Well, you ended the turn, right? Uh, not yet. You're not going to end it yet? Okay. Um, so, one, two, four. All right, I'm sticking to the plan. Pierre, Pierre had all these guys move up. He took a shock off. We're running up, man. And then with the two and the one, I had the Panhard just drive around on the road 3D6. And he's just going straight into the teeth of that 88 like a maniac. Another double phase. Seriously. One, two, three. Armored car is just going to stay there. I didn't have enough to do anything with that. We'll see what happens. But over here, uh, with the two, the squad hopped the fence, capped that. Uh, with the three, actually, I could have taken off a shock and moved up another inch. 
yeah, so it took us a shock. This squad's moved up. They hopped the fence. And with the one, I'm going to have the sniper take a shot uh, back at these guys. See if we can take Yens out. I hit. So you roll as if you're in the open. Machine gun team, please. I dead. See if it's Yens. It is. It's Yens because of the sniper. Well... So, do do we know which leader or... Your leader's dead here. No, he's... He's, he's dead. dead? Oh, okay. No, or is he knocked out? Um, Either way, he's incapacitated. Okay, I'm, roll to see which one I'm, it is. No, I'm, I'm trying it's to... It's my leader that died, not yours. Okay, so he is just knocked out. I think so, yeah. So it is your leader again, so... See what happens to him. He loses a command. <laughs> so you got a lot of loss here. You had two hits on him, a hit. So roll a bad thing, unless you want to skip it. That's no, nothing. They don't care. Uh, so that's it. Wow. So I hit the wounded leader. And I get another phase dropping one. Nope. Uh. Not bad, though. Oh man, that's a really good roll actually. I do a lot of shit. First three I'm gonna have just the panhard just gonna sit and fire at these guys in the hardcover with its cannon. Two hits. Can split them up. One shot. On. Reduce cover by one. Oh. HE. So point of shock on the So just a point of shock. Alright. And then we're going to have Pierre, Pierre, we're going to, it's going to have these guys all fire at this, these guys. And with the other three, the squad behind the hedge over there took two shock off. So the first squad here. Which squad? Uh, I guess we'll do these guys first. They only get a couple of shots, so it's going to be six, nine shots. Nine shots. Need fours. That's all I can see. One, two, three, four hits on you, Andre. Split them up. Machine gun. Dead. Uh, we'll just say a dead and a shock. Uh, Since I'm shooting through the fence, I'm not right up against it. Oh, so okay. you can soft cover. So check your leader, though. Nope. So it's a dead guy in each, wasn't it? Yep. And then a point of shock somewhere as well, I believe. Andre thought about assaulting, seriously considered it. But 24 against 10 dice would have not been a good idea. Uh, Especially with Force Morale hovering at 5. I'm not sure that it wouldn't have, but... Uh, you could have got lucky. You could have killed Pierre. Or it could have been bloody on both sides. And Our force morales are so low that it's not, I mean, this <laughs> isn't going to come down to an assault on the gun. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> These guys. Uh, one, two, three hits. Maybe we'll want the two on the machine gun. Yeah. Nice shooting, boys. That's a dead machine gun. Here in the open. And a shock. So check your leader again. It's not him. So machine gun team wiped out. So roll a bad thing there. Team wiped out. Five. Those aren't good. It's always good. Minus one. Wow. Really? Team wiped out? Oh, minus one is as bad as it gets. Interesting. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's the best bad thing I've had so far today. <laughs> minus one. Yeah. No kidding. Um, I think then I guess that's it for me. What else am I gonna do? I will end the turn. All right, so roll a bad thing for your jump off point. What'd you roll? Three. Minus one. Oh, you got lucky. Woo! Down to four. <laughs> Down to four. <laughs> okay, so you're ending the turn and yep. he will be your phase. All right, here we go. Now you roll four dice for having four force. Whoa, end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> Double phase and a one. <laughs> Andre just moved those guys with the one. We're saying they're a team now. They're only one team with the leader, so we let him move. I seriously contemplated assaulting him, but it would have been even 
I can't believe I got an end of turn on four dice after you sent the dice to end the turn. Yeah, which well. Makes it even worse. All right, two, uh, no, three, four, four, five. Vesterman has come in. Okay, he's, so a bunch of stuff moved around. Rifle team moved back here. 88 swiveled around. Now that it's the next turn, he's going to shoot since he's on the turntable. So you can turn and shoot since that's pretty much what he's designed for. And then he turned, he's going to fire half effect. So, at these guys, I guess. Yep. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty close to each other. Um, actually. Well, they're in the open, so. Yeah, so let's. Uh, okay, let's so the 88 gets guys. 7 HE. 7 HE. Yep. I got 7 HEs right here. Hold on. I might want to interrupt. I did interrupt up here, up here, and that squad ran over to the fence. But the AE is going to unload. Here we go, 88. Get some. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One hit. I'll probably kill Pierre. <laughs> That's about my only hope at the moment. Rifle team. No. Yeah. And a one. No. Nope. Just uh. a dead rifle team. Which is these guys. All right, man. I'm down some dudes. Well, that was pathetic. Well, I'd, I'd be, I probably I shouldn't even bother interrupting. Yep. <laughs> All right, you got a machine gun still firing, and all um, those guys. So, so I guess we'll machine gun. So four shots. Two. Even fives. Two hey, you did a lot more to damage. So machine gun. Uh, point of shot on the rifles. Squad up there on the hill in the bushes. He's going to fire on these stranded machine gun over here. Even fives. That poor bastard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To do it. Oh. Yeah, two dead. So they're going to break actually. Because they're going to have more shock than dudes. I'm okay with that. So they're down to what? One guy. Yeah, so they're going to break. So it'll be support team breaks, which could bring me down to match you. That's what I need right now. Maybe I should have saved that dice for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bad thing. Come on, one. A five, no. That's probably a minus two for sure. Support team routes. Breaks. There's no, it's killed or routes. Huh? Oh. There's. They haven't routed yet. It's minus one. So minus, team breaks is minus one. But it's a support unit, but there's no support breaks. So he didn't actually route yet. He's just broken. Or does, do you just not take anything when your support Breaks. I don't know. I'm surprised they're Maybe. not a support breaks. I don't know. Well, it, I mean, it looks like they specifically didn't uh, put yeah. it in there. So I'm thinking yeah. maybe you don't roll for support breaks because it's not a core unit. Okay. All right. So minus one then. Whatever. Or, no. So it's not minus anything. Yeah. I rolled a five. No roll. I mean. Yeah. Team breaks. We're rolling. I rolled on team breaks. Oh. It's still a team. It's just a support team. Oh, okay. It's not going to not have a, any bad thing. All right. That'd be a little too crazy. Uh, was, <laughs> well, that's how I was reading it, but yeah, that didn't make uh, uh, So I'm down to six. And... Or are you I, done, I guess? I guess I'm done. Okay. Uh, for the dead John Claude, a couple fives, so a four and a two, which means I can't activate my... Uh, car again. Two of these guys just moved up tactically. So just rearranged themselves in the grass a little bit. And over here with the four Pierre took off two shock. And then we're gonna just fire on these guys here. Even fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. All in one team in the open. In the open? Yep. Well you're not quite we're on to the, the edge of an Orchard. The the fence is on. <laughs> I'm up against the fence. Either side. <laughs> Whoa, man. <laughs> Keep rolling, Andre. I'm, that was I'm, the greatest saving roll of all time. I seriously got lightheaded on that. Um, Eight dice, not a single three. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. Okay. Um, Crazy stuff there. That one, was, one, three, oh. and a five. Right, so those guys moved over. He's gonna try to shoot the uh, armored car. So needing two dice or uh, five on two d six. Five on two d six. 
That's it. That's a hit. So I get three dice, which is not going to do it. So you're like 12? Yeah, I only got one. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. So roll to see if it blows up. It does not blow up. The shell just goes right through, but it does not kill the leader. So bad thing. Support unit. A two. I think that's just minus one. Minus one. I'm um, down to five. All right. Is that it for you? Down to five? Yep. Down to five. I thought you were... I was at six. Okay. So you... I only dropped one for the machine gun. I was at seven, then I dropped one down to six for the machine gun. Huh. Okay. And then uh, I just dropped one more for losing the car. And... So... I would have had to roll a junior leader kill, too, if it would have blew up. So those guys are on the off the fence or off the fence here? Everyone's off the fence now. They're off? Yeah, we're off the hedge, yeah. And the only people that can see those machine gun is these guys. Since they're on the top, they can still see over the hedge. They're far enough off. All right, so these guys with the last command, Kopke, or uh, Besterman ordered the squad that was in the grass to move up. They got a five and a half a shooting. Hey, not a hit. Thank oh, you, Andre. Hey, I'm here for you. <laughs> now it's my phase. I still got all five of my dice. And I need to find a way to drop Andre's horse morale. Double phase. Oh. That might help if I could. <laughs> a double what phase What can I might activate? Help? Well, it might. Yeah. One, one, two. <laughs> with the one I moved these guys back up to the hedge, 1d6. Uh, they're going to fire half effect with rifles. These guys also took a shock off, made a two and a one. They moved up half of one D6. They're going to fire half effect. So first, the BB with rifles at these guys here, Eden Fives. Nothing. And then the other squad is going to roll. Same thing, Eden Fives. One hit. Yeah. Oh. Leader, no. Oh man, it would have been if Ooh. I fired them all at once. <laughs> God damn it! All right, here we go. Actually, it wouldn't have been. I still would have only got one kill. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sniper, though. Hey, I can do all my senior leaders. Three fours, all and I have one them. senior leader. Yeah, and a two. With the four, Pierre is going to have both of these squads activate, and we're going to fire everything at these guys. With the two, I'm going to have that squad that's up against the hedge over there do the same thing. So here we go. Um, needing fives for the first volley. Uh, two hits. Yeah. <laughs> two, hits. <laughs> two hits. And then the next squad. Three, four, five, six. Well, two hits on the first six. Two on the first. I've got to do these separately because they're two different. Okay, so machine gun. Okay, nothing. And the other boys. And nothing. One hit. Nothing. <laughs> so Okay, and then the next squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Finally, someone did something right. So it's seven hits total. So it's going to be. So we got to split them up. Actually, put them all in the guys in the open because you got some guys that are kind of hanging out in the well, cover back there. I got uh, I got both teams in the open. So okay. all right, uh, four guys on the uh, four on the machine gun in the open. That's okay, dead in the shock. And and then dead in the two shock. So rifle, machine gun. So check your leader. Yeah, see which one it is. Ooh, it's uh, Vesterman. See what happens to him. Actually, wouldn't that be this guy back? Here? Yeah, that's Vesterman. Oh, that is Vesterman. He's killed. That's oh my gonna, god. Really, we're going to end the game with that? Yes, well, roll that thing. Just because I can't roll higher than killed. a two? Yeah, suck it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> three? Senior leader killed on a three? Minus two. So I'm down to two. Holy crap. <laughs>
Man, I've gotten shit, but on the leader rolls, I've done really, that's the only thing that's done anything for me. Sylvesterman's killed. Uh, I'm done. Crappy shooting, but the one the one hit did count. Oh, I actually so lost another guy, too. And he took a shock, I believe. <laughs> Down to two, he removed a jump off point as well. Four, so both my well, senior have, leaders can activate. The ends can still activate, and then you and can do a squad. Two. But the two, um, the squad just moved back into the bushes. And the ends here is going to use his two commands to activate the 88, who's going to fire at the VB. And then these boys are going to open up. So the 88. Uh, three hits. Oh, oh, oh three, three dead. dead. No, it's not the leader, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the many? BB launcher junior leader is just hanging, and that he's going to fire that squad that's in the uh, out or in the uh, entrenchment at Pierre squad. 14 shots, needing fives. Come on, don't kill Pierre. One, two, three, four, five, six hits. Oh boy, so three each. Yeah. Machine gun. <laughs> Another dead. And a shock. And a chance to kill Pierre. And two shock. So let's check the leader. Come on, don't be my leader. Uh, no, it's not. Thank okay, you, soft so cover. One, three, one, four. Hey, I can fire this. got a lot of dice. Sniper. <laughs> I can fire the sniper. Pierre is going to, he ordered this squad to put covering fire onto this squad. He's going to have this squad fire into that building and see if we can get a lucky hit or something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six hits on you, but you're still in hard cover. You can't possibly not roll. So you need a five or a six. You need to roll five fives. <laughs> Again, well, at least you roll some threes this time. And a four, so total yeah. miss again. Those guys have taken a lot of shooting. In <laughs> yes, they single have. Single hit yet. With the two ones, I'm not going to fire the sniper. I'm going to use the two ones to activate that squad over there. Fire at the guys in the grass. Even fives. Uh, one, two, three, four, five hits. Split them up. Okay, machine gun. Two shock. Ouch. Rifles. Nothing. So there's two shock on the machine gun. And yeah, that's really all I can do. That's a three. Oh, and the three, I moved that leader. That's by himself. Just back so he can't be spotted. Kind of a waste, but be an easy, easy way to get down on my horse morale if Andre targeted him. <laughs> Me? <laughs> you got three dice now, don't you? Not two. I'm at two. Yeah, three dice. So one, two, five. Andre's gonna make a three, and the idiot's gonna try to take out that poor machine gun. Yeah, of course. I I was Seven real shot. hesitant, uh, but I'm I'm getting desperate. One, two, three, four hits. Okay, uh, considered. Uh, actually, they're considered in soft cover. No, they're considered in the open. <laughs> yeah, so four hits yeah. on one dude, so I just can't roll a five. No problem. I'll pretend I'm shooting. All sixes. Ah, oh, I got him. Yeah. Just, just, just. Bad thing. Minus right. one. Team wiped out. So we rolled twice now for that guy. So I'm down to four. So I'm going to lose a command dice. And, and the Hotchkiss just, man. Turn. Hotchkiss really didn't do anything the whole game. Did he shoot? I think he did once when he first came in. <laughs> <laughs> so I lost a die. Damn it. All fours. Close. Creeping up on the chain of command. One, three, four. The three. I'm going to have that squad along the hedge there fire at that squad in the grass. Even fives. One, two, three, four hits. Machine gun. Oh. oh. And the other. Oh. oh. So machine guns. Uh, hang on, hang on. Is it right. the leader? No. no. Andres grabs some hard cover by becoming pinned. 
But he is in hardcover. Glad to get that did my machine gun. Then over here, we're just going to fire both squads and just hope like hell we get lucky. Right, here we go. From the grass. One, two, three. Man, the guys on this side cannot shoot for shit. They are bad. Bad shots. They need to go back to the range. That's well, a point of shock on the machine gun. Yep. And a point of shock on the rifle. Okay, so these guys here are going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. So only two. only get ten shocks due to the shock they have. So. One, two, three. Yeah, and you can spread it to the ED. We forgot about that. All right, machine gun. Nothing. Rifles. Nothing. 88. Oh, a dead crewman. Check and see if it's your leader. Oh, <laughs> I thought I saw it dancing around there for that a second. That would have been a game ender. So just a dead crewman on the 88. That squad's pinned. And here go. It's hanging on the knife's edge right now. Hey, double, double phase! phase. <laughs> <laughs> a two dice double phase! No, I actually a uh, three dice double phase. I was thinking there was a way you could actually, if you rolled enough double phases, you could actually drop your dice to zero. If you rolled another double phase, you would, the next time you would drop <laughs> one, so you'd have two, and then if you rolled another one, you'd drop one again, and you'd round to one dice. Uh. <laughs> All in quick, <laughs> quick succession. 13 dice from the bunker into the air. Needing fives? Yep. One, two, three, four. All right. It's all coming down to leaders right now. <laughs> yeah, Machine you guns. Some. Uh, point of shock. The other dudes? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, God. We needed that. We needed that. Okay. Oh yeah, double phase. <laughs> <laughs> double phase. All my senior leaders can... You can fire the 88 again. These guys have moved with the three, took a shock, and they're going to move up to the window and fire at these guys. Submachine guns in range. Man. So... Is that really five hits? I hit on fours? Yep. So, five hits. Rifles. Oh no, another and dead. Shock. And a shock. And a shock. Okay, see if it's one of the leaders. No. Not even close. Okay, these guys are gonna fire now. These guys here, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, see if you can pin them. He's only one, I think one kill or two shock away from being pinned. Unless I take out that rifle team, in which case... Oh, the rifle team, yeah. Rifle team down to one. That could dude. be a problem. And one he's guy. got three of the pins. Four, Four hits. hits. All right. Yeah, if he dies, he'll take those three pins with him, won't he? Yep. What did you say? Four hits? Yeah. Two and two. Okay, two on the rifle. Nothing. He's fine. Come Machine on, gun. Head. Point of shock. Oh man, we're one away from getting a point of shock. <laughs> I mean, from being pinned. One kill or one shot. The ADA is going to shoot at the guys over there. Uh, three. Rifles. Point of shock. Actually, two, two points shots. of shock. Two shocks on the rifles over there. That's it. Your epic run of double phases is over, right? <sighs> You don't have anything left? Um, no, that's all she wrote. Double feet, no. <laughs> Two, three, four. Actually, hmm. I'm gonna actually target the freaking 88. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could shoot at these guys, but yeah, what the hell. We'll just keep continue pouring it on there. So five, uh, needing fives. Give me some good shooting for once, guys. Oh, three hits. No, four hits. Okay, split them up. You only got one guy left in that machine gun team. Yep. Pull on here, bring all this out of here. Okay, machine gun. Roll six. So, it's uh, three hits. Yep. Okay, machine gun. No nope, point of shock, though. And the other dude's dead. Is it? Oh! It is. Uh, yeah, see, see what happens junior to him. Leader. He's knocked out, so your junior leader's knocked out, so bad thing. Don't roll a four plus. 
No, I think you're okay. <laughs> Junior leader wounded. There's only a. What'd you roll? Uh, three. Oh, it is a minus one. You're down to one. One. Oh my god. Over here, Pierre just pulled these guys back from the fence. Um, we're not going to win that firefight. They're in hardcover. We're in soft. Over here, these guys are going to just fire back up here and see if we can do some damage. So. I was telling Andre he doesn't have many leaders left to kill, so <laughs> my chances I'm of getting down to zero on. are going to make it really tough. Four hits. Oh yeah, so 88. Or, oh, you said I couldn't see them. Oh, so right. Okay. Uh, so machine gun. Nothing. These guys. Right Actually, and, yeah, I'll just do one there. Nothing. And two on the. Uh, Nothing, man. Hard cover holds. Yep. All right, so your go, I guess. Uh, that was a two. Wait a minute. I still got a three left. I had a three left over, I think, and uh, I took some chalk off of that squad. Uh, I just don't see how I'm gonna get Andre down to his. Uh, a six. I don't see how I'm gonna get him down to zero. <laughs> He's got no leaders left to kill. <laughs> well, actually, you have a junior leader here, and you still got cocky. With um, all your other leaders. Oh no, you still got one in here too. I'm gonna fire down on uh, on these guys. In there, yep. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, go ahead. One, two, three, four. In the open. Rifles. He's dead. So that's a team wiped out. Oh man, and then another dead. So that's two. It's not the leader though. So bad thing for the rifle team wiped out. Check that, team wiped out, probably minus one. And then another dead machine gun team. Two is a nothing. Team wiped out, two is a nothing? Wait. Team wiped out, two is a zero. I'm still at four. So he was the one with the four shock? Yep, the right, yeah, that's right. So <laughs> I lost four shock. It's like we're a whole new squad again, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we should have killed that guy a long time ago. <laughs> and that's it. That's... I still got four. I somehow skated on that one. Oh. One, two, three. All right. He's pulled back up this way. And he's going to have these guys shoot again. We got to gotta get lucky here. We got to hit Jens. Oh! Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've been saving them all up for that roll, boys. Seriously. Okay. So, uh, machine gun team. It's not a... It should be three on each. Yep, and machine gun a... team. Point of shock. Uh, next team. Point of shock. They're slowly accumulating shock. 88. Nothing. So just two points of shock, man. Yeah, this but they got no rough. way to take it off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can, um, but... Oh, I still got that squad over there to see if I can finish off those guys in the bushes. Oh, I thought you were talking about my guys. I'm like, oh, no. I lost a couple yeah. guys off the machine gun team. One, two, three, four. Only four. But and you still got two teams, but you do have a one-man... Machine gun team. He's yeah. toast. Ooh. Well, maybe. He might be your leader. No, they're yeah. all down. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and then a uh, shock. So, oh, yeah, you're actually going to lose it. shock. I am unpinned now. Thing. Four. That'll do it. Nothing. No, team wiped no, out. that's minus one, isn't it? Team wiped out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, minus one. Game. Zero. Holy crap. <laughs> we'll come back and wrap it up. All right, back to wrap it up. Wild ass game here uh, tonight. That was insane. Uh, I was down to four. Andre got tapped out to zero, which rarely happens. Usually someone quits, but we don't usually play pickup games very often, so it's not. This, this is, is the true. difference between a pickup game and a campaign is you would normally never see a battle like this in a campaign unless it was like the last battle. The last stand. Yeah, but normally in a campaign, Someone would have bugged out long ago. Well, all, all I can say is it was probably my Merle Haggard bandana <laughs> that uh, 
that uh, there's Andre did all his bandana. Want. Yeah, my my Merle Haggard uh, bandana. We're wearing just, face masks, just so you know. We are we are being safe. So um, yeah, it was that uh, was in crazy. Yeah, crazy ass game. I mean, okay, so <laughs> the wrap up. Um, so your plan well, my was plan, yes. to move around this side, correct? My uh, yeah, my plan was to establish a base of fire and then come around this way. Yep. Okay, that's what I told everybody. The plan. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. <laughs> okay. So my plan was to put a decoy unit out here to kind of muddle things up on this side and allow me to work on the base of fire with my other stuff, which worked out. Really yeah. well. Yeah, it did. <laughs> until it was time to pull these guys back. At which point, I was thinking about pulling them back here, but then I thought, no, I can just pull them to here, and there's enough. It's still going to totally jam you up in terms of moving up, and it'll allow me to totally finish off your base of fire. Except they stalled right here and you triple phased me coming up right. the side and hosed them down but they're still yeah well on the table we can't not talk about the most epic dice roll of <laughs> i don't know how many games we played but that's got to be up in the top five of craziest dice rolls of all time was eight was it seven or eight hits eight hits just needing a three to do a shock and you rolled one not a single three three or higher on eight dice which well, and it continued after that. The next phase <laughs> continued shooting, and you got two hits. I rolled oh, yeah. ones and, and twos, again. and then you rolled another hit. And so I was 11 dice in a row, not rolling uh, higher than a two. <laughs> um, so they're yeah. blessed. They're blessed by it. That guy gets an iron cross. Yeah, no, that if this was a campaign, we'd be handing out some medals uh, in this yeah. one. That's and you're, for sure. And Andre's leaders, okay, let's see. What do you have leader-wise left? Well, oh, no, no, take, take a look at my uh, casualties. He's only lost four men, but he's at zero from ten. Three of them Guess how that happened. were support for machine guns, one rifleman. <laughs> and that's it? And that's it. And I'm at zero from ten. And... So you only you only lost one for team wiped out, which dropped you to zero. But all the other ones, I believe, were all leaders. Well, we've got a leader down. We've got a, oh no, he's uh, well, he's down and That's lost two hits. A, yeah, uh, senior leader with a hit. Senior leader killed. Junior leader killed. Yep, and I think that you took more than that. <laughs> maybe I don't know. That's still a lot of. That's one, two, three. That's at least five bad things. I think maybe you had. Well, more. most of the bad things were two shots. Um, Minus twos. Yeah. Yep. Oh, then there was losing the jump off point. That dropped you down one too. I forgot about Which that. I was kind of surprised when you chose uh, which jump off point to take. I was thinking you would leave that one there and make a bum rush and try and. Uh... Well, except you it. never built another uh, chain of command die. No. Not very many fives this game. No. I mean, that was a hell of a long game, and I burned one. You burned one, and we never got to our second ones. Nope. Yeah, that's true. I thought about bum rushing, and I almost did, but I knew that Andre had an MG42 or MG34 on tripod just waiting. It never made the table. <laughs> it never made the table. Because by the time the turn ended, I think you were already down below five command dice. And then uh, you dropped even again. It was, yeah, well, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> oh, it man. got crazy. I did get uh, several ones, but I needed to use them to make fours to act, you know, it, it was tempting, but there was, you know, I had to save these guys' butts with one of the ones. They had yeah. to run into the building. I was kind of thinking game over here when then you got that miraculous roll. I should have, I was going to assault them, but then I might have took the worst end of that. Yeah. No, but it, I'll shoot them. At least I'll so, slow them so de down so much they can't get over the <laughs> Yeah, right. All right, well, anyway, this is starting to get pretty long now, so uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. But uh, fun game, um, four, force morale to zero. We never actually took the hill, but we drove them off. Everybody stuck to their plans pretty well, and yep. um, just an kind of a classically epic wow. game. I mean, insane. insane, insane, so. Just wild stuff uh, all over the place.
Yeah, I think my sniper even hit one of your leaders at one point, right? I believe. He did. I believe so. Yeah. So. I don't even remember which one. I don't um, either. There's so many. <laughs> there <are> so many. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go ahead and uh, check out our Patreon page, guys, if you want to see what's going on here. Um, we got exclusive battle reports in there as well. We got a campaign which we need to play the next round of Andre the uh, Bon Luc ah, campaign yeah, that's yeah. coming up. So can't do it this weekend, but next weekend we can do it. And uh, check out our Facebook group as well. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.